Hey everyone, and welcome to this episode of Star Wars Theory. I just got confirmation that the fan film will be ready in a faster time than we anticipated. So we're looking at maybe the 18th or 19th of September. That's only six or seven days away, guys. That video will also have the details encompassing the lightsaber giveaway contest that I'm holding for this month. Stay tuned for next month as I hope to give away a PS4 or Xbox One. Also, more information on the contest and rules will be at the end of this video. Now onto today's video, what happens when a Jedi dies? Why do the bodies of Master Yoda and Obi-Wan disintegrate into the Force, whereas other powerful Jedi such as Qui-Gon Jinn, and even Anakin upon his death, remained in a solid state, yet they returned as Force ghosts? That's what we're going to discuss in this episode of Star Wars Theory. Whether they are struck down like Obi-Wan or pass on due to old age like 874 year old Master Yoda, we know they continue on to the next realm. What makes me question this the most is not necessarily where they go, which can be discussed in another video, but why do some completely disappear when others do not? Is this a trait only the Jedi have mastered, or do the Sith have this ability too? The ability was particularly only unlocked to the most powerful of the Jedi as it required them to completely transform each living cell in their body to the Force, a state of total and complete pure energy. While a Sith's energy is dark and corrupt, their chances of becoming a Force ghost were much more difficult and unknown. A Force spirit was only able to interact with certain Jedi and Force-sensitive users. This is why we could witness Rey's ability to hear Obi-Wan, Yoda, Vader, and Sidious in her flashback vision in The Force Awakens. Although she wasn't a Jedi, yet she is strong with the Force. In order to be seen and heard by the living, the spirit had to conjure itself with different types of manifestation. They could appear however they liked, within reason. Some appeared as a translucent cloudy orb of energy without any human features other than a voice, whereas others, like we've seen, were able to manifest themselves as the spitting image of their live counterparts, however only transparent and emitting an aqua glow. They could appear to anyone they wished, however, just like a walkie-talkie and a receiver, the living needed to be open to the channel being sent. This depended entirely on their strength in the Force. Sometimes a particular Force ghost would bind itself to a Force sensitive as a guardian, for the purposes of providing wisdom, insight, and offering aid when needed. Like we saw Obi-Wan do countless times with Luke until he was a Jedi Knight in Return of the Jedi. Some ghosts were even powerful enough to link with the living's connection with the Force, allowing them to come into actual physical contact with one another. In addition to this, they still possessed some of their own Force powers, including new ones that could have never been achieved when they were alive, for what we know. Such as instant transmission, traveling to a known destination in the galaxy by a mere thought. Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn was the first to learn of this ability to return in the other realm through the guidance of Shaman of the Wills. His spirit then guided both Obi-Wan and Yoda to learn this power. However, Qui-Gon was unable to vanish when he was killed by Darth Maul because he had not yet perfected the art of transforming each of his living cells into the Force like the other Masters had learned through longer training picking up where Qui-Gon had left off. Anakin also mastered this, however he learned through Darth Sidious which will be discussed in another video if you all want to know, as I don't want to segue to different topics in my videos for you all. I will, however, say that certain Sith Lords did discover this technique for themselves, their bodies fading as a Jedi's would, though not mandatory. It was not uncommon for Sith spirits to remain, bound to objects or locations, much like a haunted area. Unlike the Jedi, the Sith found no use for this form as they only looked inwards, Focusing on themselves, they had little to no interest in helping other Sith unless some emotional attachment was present. The main reason the Sith never wanted to return as a Force Ghost was because they felt the light side of the Force would free them of their hatred that chained them to their mortal realm. Thanks for watching this episode of Star Wars Theory, guys. The days are just flying by here, and as the fan film gets closer and closer to completion, my excitement grows with each new frame that's edited. I have seen many fan films, and I honestly have to say this one will be exceptionally great. Unbiasedly, of course. I've been getting a massive influx of messages on the Facebook page and in the comments below regarding the contest and how to enter. Don't worry everyone, I will outline the rules when the fan film airs, which will have the contest rules at the end of the video explaining everything you need to know. I'll title it Lightsaber Contest or something along those lines so you all know. I will say that I will require a trivia question to be answered on my Facebook page, so you will have to go and like the page now for the daily updates and the eventual contest. If the channel keeps going at this rate, I will be holding another contest in one month's time where the winner has the choice of a brand new Xbox One or PlayStation 4. So thumbs up this video, let's keep the channel on the same path, and let's build the most amazing Star Wars YouTube channel in the galaxy. In the words of Vader, Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy.
Once again, guys, this is all because of you, and if you want me to keep doing contest giveaways like this, then keep showing me all the love you've been given, and I promise you I will give back to the community in ways no one has ever done before. I'm not a greedy person, and I'm a firm believer in giving back to what is given to you. So let's both grow together. You have a Jedi's word. Shout out to the 4% of women according to my Google Analytics who watch these videos. I see you. I hope you all enjoy the content and I can't wait to share with you everything that is to come. Keep in mind, this channel is only under one month old. The Force truly is strong with all of us here. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. And as always, may the Force be with you. Fulfill your destiny.